back uh, in this tutorial in this tutorial we'll be looking into the service now client record this will be the first part of the series so till now let's start the tutorial with the code till now we have reviewed where we can apply script and introduce the concept of an api it's time now to look at our first api so the glide record so will serve this section with an introduction to glide record followed by a quick analogy to help solidify our understanding then we'll jump into the show me the code section where it will go over a brief snippet of code to show you what exactly the api looks like in a scripting environment after that we'll be cover we will cover a very important topic in service now called dot walking next we will cover the glide record api diagram where we will take a look at some of the properties and methods associated with glide record when um, we will then look uh, at a list of common glide record methods and discuss the functionality behind them after that we will discuss the stage stages of the glide record and then we will have a walk through the acronym CRUD, which is create, read, update, delete with, and how it applies to the client record. Once we have covered these topics, then we will finally jump in the service now and we and actually start writing some codes and background script for the demo. We'll discuss client record uh, secure and client record aggregate API, and finally, at end of the section, we'll be discussing. Uh, more about the APIs and best practice and the API documentations. Okay. All right. So, so before I introduce the client record, let's have first talk about a fundamental concept about the web application, or really just any application that processes data, which means that storing data for a long time. So let's say we have an application server uh, on the left side and our database server on the right let's say we would like to access the data that is stored in the database for example we'd like to access data about a specific incident well because service now uses mysql as its database and since mysql is a regional database management system we'll have to write some sql queries to retrieve data but wait it turns out as sql can be a bit tricky and just really not very fun of work or fun to work with so we as a as the developer want an easier way to access and interact with data it turned out we can do so by introducing an api specifically designed just to do this okay here we can't here we have what we call our database apis for service now and glide record is one of them so this API acts like a middleman to the developer. Instead of writing SQL, we can access data in the database by interacting with the APIs via JavaScript because we have introduced JavaScript. Okay. Now we have the power of an object-oriented programming at our fingertips. This gives us a level of abstraction that helps with security ease of useful and powerful helper methods. Well, it turned out our database API is, is called client record, which is what we'll be discussing in this section. So client record is the most commonly API you will use as service now developer. This API is accessible to the developer on the server side and is used for any type of database operation commonly summed up with the acronym CURD. So the CURD, CURD is an industry term to refer to the four functions of persistence uh, storage which are create read update and delete anytime you need to read an existing record uh, create an incident and ex update an existing problem or delete a change you will use the glide record api to perform database task as mentioned before this api generates the best you have so we as a developer don't have to worry about writing SQL from scratch. We can think about of the glide record as having two stage and the first stage we build the actual query. So we will select the table we want to query 
on and start to build out the filter that we want to apply. For example, we could say uh, we want to show all priority one incidents that are created within last two days. Again, we can create this filter and this happens within the first stage. Once the stage is completed, the actual SQL is sent to the database where the records are retrieved back from the database and you can think of the second stage. Now, what to do on the second stage? I have all the record, right? So second stage starting at this point of time, okay? Now in the second state of a glide record, we can think of this as a collection of record or a list of record from the query table. This is where we do the actual processing of the record. So for example, if you want to update a specific field or even delete a certain record, we could do so here. Okay. And this stage of the glide record, you can think of it as a being an ordered list of record. For example, when we view a list of incident or on the incident table, glide record is used behind the scenes. Okay, the query and uh, the query part and retrieving the data uh, from a specific table and show it on the list view happens with the help of glide record only. All right, so before we go any further, I would like to introduce you to uh, introduce you to show you how the actual code looks like in the actual environment now i understand this slide may be a bit overwhelming to some of you okay but don't worry we will cover all of this topic in the coming sections the goal of this slide as well as showing code slide in future section is this to give you a practical example as soon as possible providing you uh, with a hostelic approach. Now I could talk for an hour on the theory and concept of client records, but that don't, that won't do any benefit for you. Okay. So I, as, as a tutor, I want you to get introduced to development and the coding structure as soon as possible. So, all right. So in this example, we will start simple. Okay would like to print a list of all priority one incident to the screen. Now let's walk through this line by line. So we are initiating an object uh, by calling the new keyword along with the constructor glide record. We pass in one arg argument, which is the system name of the table we would like to query. Okay, so suppose you want to fetch the data from incident table or process the data on incident table. So you will pass incident and the same for other tables also glide record instead of simply um, in the second line we are simply adding a query so you can see we have simply given a query as priority equal to one okay so um you uh, in the list view you will be seeing when you go to the platform we have this query section at the top of the list view you can simply define your query over here in this section you will get all the fields and in this two section this is a conditional sector and this is the optional sector so here using all these three attributes you can create your own queries and you can add that query to perform certain actions on the database once you passed on the query then you will be gliding the incident table and when you fire this command called query that's at that stage this call goes to the um, to the database via SQL, okay, and it retrieves the data in this incident here. So it can be a list of over in this example, it will be a list of records. So then we are using a general while operation. So this will this you can consider as we are getting an array of JSON. So now we are using the next to check whether we have the next record. If we have the next record, then in line number five, we are simply printing out the record. Okay, so as long as it's related and some type of contextual meaning of what you are doing, you uh, you should use a naming convention which will suit you out. Okay, so and the output of the incident will be um, shown. You can show it means you can perform certain action. You can delete those record or you can even uh, simply print it out. Okay. 
or right now let's take a step back because the previous slide was quite heavy for few people right who are new to the service now and who are looking into service now for the first time so let's have a take let's take a step back and i will provide you a very simple analogy for glide record and this analogy will be will be in terms of buying a grocery at a grocery store and the process is as follow first you will select which grocery store you would like to go okay so this can be analogous to selecting a database table to query on okay second will grab a shopping cart in the store the current can be thought of a uh, glide record object third will be place a grocery in that shopping cart okay so we will pick up the grocery and put in the shopping cart right this grocery can be thought as uh, as of record from the table every grocery item has specific attributes to it like name its price and color these items attributes can be thought as a field value for the record like color on the incident table okay or any other field okay finally it's time to check out at the cashier's counter okay this last step can be thought of performing some kind of actions to, on the record so on cash account or whatever grocery you checked out right so you get bill generated on that but you from that particular items right so this last step you, uh, can be thought as performing some kind of action on the record whether they are displaying updating deleting or even creating a new records in some different table or in the same table also okay all right so let's kind of apply this analogy to a real world example so again using our first example we discussed in the show uh, show me the course section right we would like to print all the incidents to the screen that have priority one while this step may vary depending on the glide record method that you are using uh, there are typically four steps involved in this process just like we saw an analogy so the first step is selecting a table to query okay in this example it's incident table and the second step we build out a filter if required okay again in this example it's priority one the third step is where we tell service now to make the actual query against the database table along with the uh, documents this is where the client record actually generates sql run uh, it's against a mysterious uh, uh, database okay and process the written uh, rows and send back to us okay again this kind of mark uh, to the stage one and the stage two starts okay you remember we discussed stage one and stage two right so the final step is where we would process the record okay we would like to query them deleting updating in this example we will simply printing the number on the screen we'll talk more about the stages and uh, third section okay however for now you should focus on first second and third step the query uh, the build query glide record stage and the four step and this diagram uh, we will discuss in the coming tutorials okay so till then thank you i hope you understand the basic concept of glide record thank you